All right. You guys want to talk about free guns? I want to talk about free guns. Let's talk about free guns. Uh, we talk about shower guns. Now let's talk about free guns. What's most bizarre about this, this story is not that it actually happened. It's the reaction of the adult humans that makes me sad for the world. Well, there's been a psyop to make people afraid of guns. Yes. So it's not really their fault. Mm, yeah, but well, I didn't fall for it. You're also in the gun industry. Am I, am I magic? Yeah, no. Um, what makes people have easily be easy victims to psyops? That's a good question. Probably. Uh, Nutrition. Probably seed oils. Nutrition and, and uh, malnourished brains. But anyway. Bizarre screw-up sends box of rifles to a stunned high school. The whole high school was stunned. So you, if you went and you looked at the building, the building, it had that like surprise look on its face. You ever seen a building that had a surprise look? Yeah, in an anime. <laughs> August 24th. So this just happened. A Pennsylvania high school awaiting a delivery of textbooks got a f box full of guns instead in a screw-up that left educators stunned. They were stunned. The box containing six 30 caliber M1 rifles arrived last oh, week at Chester oh, High School in Delaware County. Man. After it was opened to reveal its contents, shock school office officials immediately called the police. I wonder if they like ran out of the room, locked the door behind them because they were afraid the guns were going to jump out of the box and get them. When deliveries come in, we check everything. Kevin Thomas, Chester High School maintenance employee, told the station. No way. You check the deliveries? Yeah. Who does that? Usually it's like school supplies, so I don't think in the history nothing like this has ever happened. So it Okay, hang on. So misunderstanding. I don't think nothing like this. So if he, he doesn't think nothing no, like said, this? I don't think in the history nothing else nothing like this has ever happened or has anything like this ever happened i'm not sure but anyway so communication it had been a big misunderstanding a big mistake obviously and you know who did who did it well apparently there was like they transposed a number on the shipping manifest uh, like school uh, superintendent craig parkinson said the school was awaiting a delivery of textbooks for the start of the school year when a box of rifles arrived Anytime, any type of firearm on a school ground, school property, they have to be confiscated. What? Anytime. This is a quote from a the head of the school, the superintendent. Anytime, any type of firearms on a school ground, school property, they have to be confiscated. That's not even a real sentence. So, so like if a police officer walks in with the gun holster that somebody has to confiscate that who's going to confiscate it from the gun it's the craig parkinson maybe craig has parkinson's i don't guns, know because he can't make a good sentence the guns manufactured by springfield armory were stored at the school over the weekend then fetched on monday by fedex after a mistake was discovered isn't that what normally would happen that's not like, well hey we delivered this to the wrong place let's go pick it up and um the driver was Oh, this is a quote from Parkinson. He said, the driver was, you can see, visibly concerned and very professional, very apologetic. He definitely made it clear that it was a mistake. Well, duh. Well, you duh. You order it. And you, all right. Let me see. Uh, a base model. Springfield. Armory. This determined it was an honest mistake, possibly due to a typo in the address. Although students have not yet returned for class, the district sent a note to parents to assure them things were under control. Okay, so this this is where the train the train just jumped off the rails and went straight to Idiotville. So there were no the school is not in session yet. The school's not in session. So the only people there were like the a few teachers and some maintenance people and administrators and stuff, right? So no children were there. Wow. Base level Springfield M1A starts at MSRP $2,023. That's nice. low level. No, no, you can get a an uh, a no frills, no standard nothing for 1777. Okay. 
So around eighteen hundred bucks for a base level. We don't know what kind of which rifles they were. These could have been the super cool SOCOMs, uh, or the tanker models, or the whatever. We don't know. But suffice it to say, about two grand a piece times six. So at least twelve grand worth of rifles sitting there. Uh, <laughs> have you seen the Maymays? People are like, they they did the Maymay Lord. I've seen what you've done for other people, <laughs> and I want that for me. That, that's crazy. Uh, oh, man. So, yeah, the most bizarre thing about this is, so even though, right, it says no school was not yet in session, so no children were exposed to the scent of, of these rifles i mean they, they couldn't have they were locked in a room and no one could have seen them but they, the the scent of the rifles might have like drifted out into the hallways so at no time no children were ever so the school district drafts up a f- bargain letter and sends it to all the parents to assure them that everything is well it's like i got an idea why don't you just take care of it and Shut up about it. Why would you do that? Yeah, I'm just wondering what. I just wanted to let you know that when, even though your children weren't in school and had no opportunity at all to see or smell or taste these unloaded rifles, which were all boxed up in shipping containers, we want to let you know that everything is okay. Can you imagine getting a letter from a, a school saying, well, we want to let you know that that some rifles showed up at the school by accident, and but we we sent them back, and so everything's okay. You're like, what? Are you retarded? Oh, let's see what Steve Gretzky, no relation, or maybe he is a relation. I don't know. Uh, let's see what Steve Gretzky had to say. Uh, sorry, I was reading a comment and I shouldn't have done that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to read the comment from Tiara Gibbs, um, a parent? No, no, no. I was reading like a comment on the story. Oh, I so shouldn't have done. I you have should not have done that. I, so I, Tiara I, Gibbs. Yeah, she said after this. receiving a letter from the school telling them that everything was OK. I think it's ridiculous. She's just about to start school this year. And to hear something like that, I don't know if I want to bring her here. All right, Chester, please come in. I got to move on because this is, yeah, there you go. So a parent, oh. Tiara Gibbs said, I don't, this is ridiculous. She about to start school then. Now I don't know why if I want to take her there. Well, then don't. Are you retarded? Chester Police Commissioner Stephen Gretzky said that the box was addressed to a nearby auto repair shop whose owner is a firearms enthusiast. Uh, Gretzky said that he was an avid gun collector. I'm just grateful we had positive results that we were able to get the firearms from the high school back here instead of somewhere else on the street of the city of Chester. On the street, because that's what usually what happens to UPS boxes or FedEx boxes is what they do is they just like, they come up to an intersection, they open up the back, and they throw them out. It's like... Um, There's like... Whoa! Like Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, or was it that movie or the other one? What? When he's he's a UPS driver. Remember? The oh, it was the first one. When he's kicking the yeah. box down the... He goes, DHS, folks! Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, like. coming through! DHS! Home... PHS coming through! And that's what usually happens is on the street! I love how they... How... How Steve Gretzky, police commissioner at large. Maybe we should start a new show. Steve Gretzky, police commissioner at large. Keeping the streets safe from guns. Chester is a suburb of Philadelphia, which is the safest, most wonderful place in the world for you to live. Oh, that's right. It's not. Philadelphia is a disgusting shite hole. Well, you know why it is? Because of Springfield Armory. That's why Philadelphia is so dangerous. 
because of FedEx and Springfield Armory. If it wasn't for FedEx and Springfield Armory, there'd be no crime in Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, this, and when I, when, I, when I gave this story to Zach, he's like, didn't that already happen? And I said, yeah, I know. It, sound, it seems familiar, doesn't it? There was another time when like a uh, shipment of guns got accidentally delivered to someone and they opened the box. They're like, Hey, so, but what I want to know is the, the auto repair parts shop. I'm guessing this guy runs an FFL out of there because generally Springfield can't just say, <laughs> Lord, I've seen what you've done for other people in Philadelphia. And I want that for me. <laughs> I want the FedEx guy to bring six Springfield Armory rifles to my front door. Amen. <laughs> uh, <sighs> yeah, it's, it's the story is not what's bizarre. What's bizarre is the reaction of the slaves. Oh, I don't know if I want my child to go to school there. Then don't. Keep her home. Oh, I can't keep her home. What am I going to do? I'm going to watch my stories if she's at the house all day long. I, I don't know. I don't know how you're going to watch your stories if your kid's at the house all day long. <sighs> people, people, people. When God sends you free guns, you don't complain about it. You're like, oh, that would have been theft of a fire. I know I wouldn't have kept them. But I, would, I might have asked the guy at the auto parts store or the auto body shop for a reward. <laughs> you couldn't, couldn't the school have just, like, looked at the address and, and then contacted that person and said, hey, do you want your package? Well, no. I, if, the, if the address was typed wrong and it was the I, I think address. what might have oh, I don't know because it said it was a paperwork mistake uh, didn't it say it was like a paperwork uh, mistake said, or it something did say or? like a transposed address so maybe that's yeah a transposed they somebody tra it wasn't 6054 it was 5062 or yeah or 5064 or 46 or something like that instead of yeah so instead of sending it to 308 they sent it to 803 that's right West Jefferson Avenue so whatever, but yeah, the, 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 I, it was like somebody in our audience said, it's like they delivered plutonium or something. Mm -hmm. Like they dropped off a box of radioactive waste and like, what are we going to do? I don't know. <laughs> and to, to their credit, apparently the Popo weren't like crazy excited because they said, oh, they just stored them in the, in, they just locked them in the high school over the weekend. So congratulations to Chester PD for not sending out like the bomb robot or something, you know, that, that would have been the next thing I would have expected. They sent the, the, the EOD bomb disposal robot in to check the rifles and make sure they weren't. <laughs> oh, kids, kids, shower guns and free rifles. That was what we're all about here at student of the gun. We need to contact Springfield Armory and ask them if they're willing to give away a, <laughs> if we can do a, an M1A giveaway in conjunction <laughs> with Student of the Gun. Uh, if you're like, well, I don't like Springfield Armory. I, don't, I wouldn't take one of their rifles if it was free. Well, there you go. There you go. Uh